This video is going to blow your mind. Do me a favor and listen to this carefully. Imagine that you are a 22-year-old adult person and decided to build a time machine, which works using the principles of quantum physics or the rules of quantum physics. You decided to go back to the past, where your grandmother and grandfather were going to meet for the first time. You decided to see what would happen if you made sure that your grandfather and grandmother don't meet. You are testing the workings of your whole existence by manipulating the events, and you are determined to see what will happen. In your timeline of your existence, if the event where they meet for the first time is very important to your whole existence of who you had become, then changing the event would eliminate the existence of you. Take a look. Here's is an illustration of the original timeline, and it represents the events that are important. But think about it. You made the changes in the event of their meeting. The whole existence of you will not exist. But still here you are, existing right there at that event, and the universe allowed you in making changes and still didn't eliminate you. Why is that? Isn't it the universe's job to maintain that timeline? If that's so, the universe wouldn't let him build the time machine in the first place and go back to the past. There's the idea of a self-healing timeline. This proposes that any attempt to alter the past is thwarted by unforeseen circumstances or natural forces, ensuring that the original timeline remains unchanged. It's as if Time itself has a way of preserving its own consistency. But that's not the case here, where you had made the changes and still exist at that event. What will happen is that the grandfather and grandmother will exist, marrying different persons each, and your father and mother wouldn't exist therefore, leading to your non-existence, since you are existing and decided to watch what all things are going to happen up to 10 or 20 or even 30 years. It will make sense now you have created a new timeline for yourself, where your own past before the building of the time machine is of non-existence and currently your present and the future are existing now after the event. But that doesn't make the case where the old and original timeline doesn't exist anymore. Since you remember all that has happened to you till the time of building a time machine, that effectively says the original timeline still exists. But you won't be able to perceive and feel anymore the influences that take place in the original timeline because you have cut off yourself from the timeline fully. This all makes sense that the universe is like a function of complex wave potential and that by each decision we make for ourselves, collapses the wave potential to a state of existence of that reality. This effect is called the observer effect, and this effect is proven in the scientific world with the help of double-slit wave experiment using electrons. Only a collapsed state is where reality can be experienced and not in a wave potential. A wave potential is in of itself an infinite possibility of different collapsed states. Therefore, here is what I understood from this, and this is my opinion but not sure as a fact. Because first I have to create a time machine in the first place in order to find out. But clearly, that's not the case for me. But getting back to it. All many other decisions that take place after that creates moving fractals patterns of a hologram under the increasing entropy of the universe, experiencing a three-dimensional reality of past, present, and future where we experience time as an illusion. This represents that the universe may be holographic in nature. Though it's just a conclusion from my side, I will be providing information through a video later in the future, explaining that the universe is indeed holographic in nature by the studies that were done in the late 19th century. This coming video in the future will be more intriguing and experimental in nature, and you might be able to experience the holographic nature yourself by going through an experiment which will be later discussed in that video. But for now, getting into another case. If you had decided to note down 
the states of all the variables of the timeline at that time where, before you decided to go back to the past, you could come back to the original reality at that time, and still would remember all the things that happened in the other timeline. Getting to the other side of the story. If that's not the case for you, where you didn't think of this in the first place, writing it down the variables, then what could it result? If you had not written down the states of all the variables of the timeline, this would put you in a state of doubt of probability in coming back to your original timeline. The only thing you could do is go back and make sure the disruption to the original event never takes place. Therefore, you decided to go back to the event where it all changed and decided to stop your past version before making changes to the event. Soon you realize that it would still put you in a probability of going back to that original timeline. How come? Here's why. We don't know for sure of the originality of that event in the first place before all changes were considered. Think in this way. If the originality of that event where the place of their meeting never had minor disruption, just like stopping your past version before making changes in the first place, then this would put you into a minor variant of your original timeline. Why? Because the mere disruption would have an effect on the timeline since you and your past self and the timeline are influencing each other, though the changes seems minor. For example, if you and your past self are there, near to the event but not close, still the mere energy presence of yours and the other would affect the energy of that place in the timeline in minor form. But if the originality of that event where the place of their meeting had a minor disruption, just like stopping your past version before making changes in the first place, because universe knows for sure that you would surely go back and do that, then this would put you back right into the original timeline. But since you had not written down the states of all the variables of the timeline and there's two different possibilities, this would put you in a state of doubt of probability in coming back to your original timeline. This uncertainty leads to the superposition of two different states of reality. One could happen over the other and vice versa. Therefore, if reality that you took is in the minor variant of the original timeline, the person you become in that reality would be totally different from the person you are right now. Though the minor difference is small in the past, the difference may compound to a large difference in the future. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. This thought experiment really took a lot of time and gave me lots of headaches, but after getting to the conclusion, it really turned out an interesting thought experiment. I hope you enjoyed thinking with me, and I hope, at least to an extent, that you understood some parts of this thought experiment in this video. Give a thumbs up and do comment such that the YouTube algorithm will further reach more people who might be interested in this video, as it is really an interesting thought experiment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon for more content videos uploading soon.